Hi everyone, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back. We are doing a lock reattachment today, so stay tuned if you want to see how I did all of this. So, first I want to thank my client so much for driving in and trusting me to reinstall or um, reattach his locks that he grew for nine years, decided to cut, and then decided he wanted them back. Yes, it happens. It's a real thing. Um, it is what it is. So, first thing I do, as always, is depending on the grid pattern, I will part out first, get the hair the way that... Um, it should be with the part to, part to lock ratio and all of that good stuff. Now I'm going to comb out his locks. It's kind of, this is kind of like an extra step that you have to do with reattaching natural locks. With extensions, the hair's already on the end. With natural locks, most people cut from the root. And as you can see here, there's a lot of lint and debris still left in it, which is normal. So I'm just going to comb out and get it loose. Once it is loose... I am going to attach it. So basically my thought process here is I'm trying to get at least one and a half inches loose. And then once I have that much, I'm going to now mesh that loose hair to his loose hair. All right, now for the attachment. Um, as you guys notice, he has a lot of flakes. He has a really flaky scalp. So we're gonna take care of that later on in the wash with a medicated shampoo. But here we're just going to attach because that is the primary step before doing anything else. Here I'm using one of my lock tools. I'm using a 0.75 needle size. You can use all the sizes, uh, both of the sizes inter interchangeably, but I literally could not find my 0.5, which I like to use for natural reattachments. So I'm using the 0.75. Now please don't be mad if you go to my website and you cannot find the lock tools. They will be restocked as soon as possible. So back to the install now I'm going to mesh his natural, not his natural, but his loose and new hair to his old um, unloosened hair, his old loosened hair from his locks. And as I always say with these types of videos, it's truly really, really hard to show you exactly what I'm doing. I would have to go inside of... Um, that meshing to show you but all I can do is really try to explain it verbally and it's just I'm using these needles to pull hair in and out of that section and I continue to do that until it is firm enough and I feel like the meshing is secure enough and I'm trying to do this keeping in mind that I want it to be seamless. I don't want it to look like I just glued some locks together or sewed them together. I want it to look like he never cut his locks. That is my purpose in doing this. So that's the idea behind it. And as you guys can see, I've done three here already. And I'm going to show you guys again. Now his uh, parting, parting system here is just a random part but I, I kind of did a little C shape but very random it's not really like the pineapple pattern so once again I'm combing out the where he cut the locks at because he cut really close to the scalp and now I'm going to use my needles up and start meshing them together but I start meshing where his lock is not loose that way I make sure the new hair goes into the locked part and then the part that I just loosened becomes an instant lock with his natural new growth. If you guys would like to see more natural lock reattachments, I have created a playlist for you guys to go look at to see the other lock, natural lock reattachments that I posted, including my own um, when I reattached my locks. Um, I've actually reattached my lock several times, but I only recorded it and posted it one time.
Et voila, that is it. This is the finished product. All his locks are back in. Well, not all. We There are some that were like scragglers that we did not reattach for health reasons. So we just left them out. This is his hair after being washed and cleaned. And as, as I like to tell you guys, I wash to double check my work and to provide a complimentary service that is washing of the hair. So this is what it looks like after. From here, we will go ahead and style his locks into some plaits. His locks are so literally, like they're dope. I love the size of his locks. I love the color. I His locks really, really got me excited. And once we put them back in, I was just like, wow. And this is why I love doing reattachments. I like doing lock extensions. I like doing anything. I like doing hair in general for the finished product. I think that's what keeps me coming back to doing hair is that I love the finished product. I just, that's what I live for. I live for the client's reaction, the finished product, the results. I live for that. So I love doing these. As you guys can see, his braids came out beautifully. His hair looks so good. So after this, he will be back within one and a half to two months just to get it checked up, get his roots looked at. If there's any repairs that need to be made, it will be made. But I think he will be just fine because his locks weren't that heavy. Although they are long, I always recommend if you are reattaching really long locks, make sure that your hair is pretty long. That way you have a nice base to hold on to it. Even though it is your natural locks, you still, you're still putting locks on um, hair. So you want the hair to be as long as possible. But my minimum is three inches. If you are not three measured inches on a tape measure, I do not reattach it just so we make sure that the locks are secure. Of course, it's possible to do it on shorter, but it's best to have that extra security. But I have rambled long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the love. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.